Hi guys, hope you all are doing great. Welcome to my channel. So as you saw from the intro and of course the title of this video, today I'll be sharing the bedroom tour of my three-year-old daughter, Amira. Recently, we made some changes to her room. She used to sleep in a crib ever since she was a baby. And just about two weeks back, I finally moved the crib out permanently and we got her a toddler bed. The crib always made the room look like a baby room. But now with that toddler bed, it looks more like a little girl's room <laughs> and uh, it gave me an opportunity to move things around to get some new furniture also as she's growing i changed some of her toys added a few things uh, so i'm sharing everything in this video i'll be sharing how i organize her clothes her closet her books her toys and where i bought everything from i did buy a lot of things from the thrift store so for those items i would not be able to give you a link of course but for everything that i purchased on online i'll definitely try to link all the items in the description below i've kept the bedroom very simple very minimalistic very light and airy so i hope you enjoyed this tour and let's jump right in As soon as you enter Amira's room, on the left side is her closet, which has mirrored doors. And that's, I think, a great idea if you don't have a dresser or if your bedroom's small. And on the top, we hang her jackets, her sweaters, and her dresses. And on the bottom, we have this shelf where we put all her other clothes. And we actually got this wooden shelf from an old bed. It was like an extension of it. So we just removed that and we use it as her shelf. On the top shelf, we have all her tops. And in the middle shelf is all her pants. So her jeans, her leggings, her track pants, all her bottoms. On the third shelf, we have her pajamas, her onesies for nighttime. And in the bottom shelf is her underwear and the clothes she wears at home. And on the topmost shelf, we've kept it pretty empty. We just have a few baskets with some extra hats and jackets and sweaters and stuff like that. So as you enter the room, you'll see this beautiful board and batten wall paneling that we have done throughout the bedroom in the bottom half of the wall and i absolutely love this it adds a beautiful characteristic to the bedroom it was a very plain wall before and very boring looking so i wanted to get something done and then i painted it one small tip here if you want to enhance the look of your room and if you're looking for a makeover then adding some sort of a wall paneling will totally do that and it's also easy and super inexpensive I got this wall hanging wooden shelf with hooks to hang her backpack, her clothes or whatever else she wants to and it's perfect. It goes with the decor of the room. I got it from the thrift store for just like a couple of bucks and I think it looks beautiful. So moving on to her play area, I got this beautiful vintage looking wooden rocking chair for kids from the thrift store for under 10 bucks and it's not perfect as you see but that's the whole charm and beauty of a vintage item. I love adding some vintage pieces all around in my house. I think the combination of modern versus vintage is absolutely beautiful. And I get these kind of boxes and baskets to store their toys. So like, for example, this box has all of their flashcards. I got this doll for her from Amazon and it has a twin doll as well, which is in a different room right now. And she's a lot into pretend play at this age, which is super fun. And this is a doctor set given to her by a friend, which she again absolutely loves. This basket here has a lot of random knickknacks like these plastic animals and other things that she uses to play in the bathtub. So I just put everything, all of that in one basket. So the tip here is to add beautiful looking baskets and boxes like this to store those <laughs> those plastic colorful toys that can be an eyesore at times. So if you store everything in these baskets, it can actually make the room look much more beautiful. Moving on to this bedside table that I got from Walmart some time back and I got this metal tray from Amazon I believe and we still use a white noise machine for her at night just to cut off some extra noise around and I got this beautiful mama bear and baby bear statue from the thrift store again and this little cute picture frame with some flowers again from the thrift store. This basket is again from the thrift store and I use that to hold all of her little clips and bows and hair ties and little things here and there, uh, whatever we use for her hair. So 
basically the point is go thrifting you you'll get amazing looking things for really very very cheap and um just mixing and matching things i think that's the beauty of decorating rather than just going to one store and buying everything from there okay so moving on to the latest addition to this room which is this toddler bed that i was super excited about i've kept it very simple and white as you might have noticed the theme and the vibe that i'm going for in this bedroom is a lot of whites neutrals and natural wood tones i've used a lot of color pattern texture and design in all the textiles for example this beautiful kantha quilt that is actually from my own shop studio amana the link is in the description so you can check that out it's a hand block printed hand stitched quilt from india so i've used that for her quilt i love mixing and matching colors and patterns through textiles i think it's so much easier to switch things up that way so i've added a pop of yellow through this yellow pillow which i believe i got from h&m and just above the bed i've hung this hand drawn sketch of two ducks which i got from someone on etsy and this is just the nameplate of my daughters amira and anaita and the aim is to have both the girls share this bedroom when my second one is a little bit older the house came with pre-existing blinds but i wanted to add some color texture and pattern through these solid blackout curtains which i got from wayfair and i think blackout curtains are an absolute must when it comes to children's bedrooms it just helps them sleep so much better at night before i show you the little cozy reading corner let me quickly show you what's in this beautiful basket so this basket is from my shop studio amana again and i store some of her diapers in this uh, she's completely out of diapers in the daytime but we still put one at night when she goes to bed just in case uh, and as you see this bright green color was an eyesore and i did not want it to stick out the first thing you walk into the room so the tip is to hide them in beautiful baskets my most favorite and i'm pretty sure amira's most favorite is this little reading corner i got this bookshelf i think on amazon if i'm not wrong and i got this one with the wooden sides because that was the theme of the bedroom some natural wood tones and these are the books that she's currently using uh, we've started using some handwriting books uh, this is the one i ordered on amazon and it's for ages three and above and she just turned three so we've started with some uh, handwriting practice so just uh, practicing some lines and some circles and as you see she's not perfect yet but i feel this is the age when i can introduce it so that by the time she goes to school next year she at least knows the basics of alphabets um and maybe a few words i don't know we'll see how it goes but uh i think it's a very useful book i've gone through the pages and you see that there are letters from a to z and then there are numbers as well and this is obviously a little bit more advanced thing stuff which she'll be using when she's closer to four i believe but it's a good start and she really looks forward to this she loves this another book that i got on amazon as well is this solar system book um i'm just showing her how the solar system works the different planets in the solar system and i particularly love this book because the illustrations are beautiful uh, there are not too many words and uh, it's just very easy and a fun book for toddlers at this age second book is this weather book being in canada there's a different weather every single day or like multiple weather multiple weather changes in one day so uh, it's a good way to teach them what different weather means and how we're supposed to dress for different weathers again it's by the same author so i love the illustrations in this book i love how there are very little words and it's very interactive it's very fun uh, the all the objects and everything in this book is very child and toddler friendly so yeah these are the two wonderful books that we love apart from that this is a book that she got as a gift 
and it's just a big book of fairy tales as it says one thing i absolutely love is the illustrations again i think at this age that is the most important thing for toddlers and it has all the stories that we read as kids so the little red riding hood um there's hansel and gretel there's uh i think rapunzel and a lot of uh, gingerbread man and as you see very little words amazing pictures very interactive colorful and uh they explain these classic stories in a very beautiful way short way so that kids don't get bored listening to it and yeah it's a good way to uh it's a good bedtime story book i'd also like to mention that we also buy a lot of books from the thrift store because i think there's something very beautiful about one child using a book and then passing it on to the other child i like to have the bookshelf at the children's level so it's easy for them to access and just above the bookshelf i've put up these two frames which i got from the thrift store again and it adds a little bit of a vintage touch to the room so that's again the look that i'm going for and i thought this was such a cute little picture frame with three kids praying before eating their meal and then again this little picnic that the kids are having in the garden i think that's such a add such a beautiful old school vibe this little lamp in the corner i believe is from ikea it's very old i don't even remember how old but uh, we've had it since a long time and it again goes with the vibe of the room so i thought of adding it here and we've attached that to this smart plug over here in the back so every time just before bed harsh switches it off from his cell phone so myra knows that oh the light's off now it's time to go to bed next to this bookshelf is this little table two chairs and two stools uh, the color is perfect goes well with the theme of the room and i got everything from ikea it's very inexpensive very easy to put together and she loves this space amira absolutely loves her bedroom and i think kids in general like to have a designated area where they can sit and write and color and draw and this is that little corner for them both my kids actually love to sit on these chairs and draw and color and paint and do whatever they want to i added this cork board which is again a very old cork board i think it's over 10 years old i just added that above the table to hang any of their artwork any craft or anything that they do and get home from daycare just to make it a little bit more personalized and obviously i don't keep everything but just a few pieces that i think are memorable we'll hang it on that cork board I think changing light fixtures can also totally change and enhance the look of a room and that's what we did with this little ceiling light which I think is from Wayfair if I'm not wrong uh, yes I believe it's from Wayfair again it was a white light with some golden metal work around it very simple and went with the vibe of the room so I thought it's perfect for this little child's bedroom all of the bedrooms in this house have wall to wall carpet but i still thought of adding a rug on top just to give some more layers to the bedroom and add a little bit more depth i'll link below and on the screen where i got this rug from i cannot remember right now on the top of my head but i chose a very neutral color for the rug because i did not want too many colors and patterns going on on the floor as you see the curtains have a lot of color and pattern and we have added some color and pattern on the quilts and textiles so i wanted the floor to be pretty simple plain and neutral which is the overall theme of the room the way i like to design bedrooms in general especially kids bedrooms is by adding colors through personalized things like their art and craft that i've put up on that cork board or through their books or picture frames i prefer adding some color and pattern through the textiles in the bedroom like the curtains the quilts the pillows compared to painting the walls that's just a personal preference it's there's nothing right or wrong about it that's also what amira likes i think kids love when they have some colors and funky designs and patterns on their pillows or their quilts or curtains that gives them a lot more personalized feel when i design a space i like to keep it very open and clutter free because a it's very easy to maintain b kids love when there's open space for them to play around 
C not everyone will have a very big space so less is always more and lastly I believe a space functions best when it has a lot of room to grow and make changes because kids have different preferences every six months almost so it'll be much easier as parents to keep up with these changes uh, the less stuff you have the less changes you'll have to make and overall it'll just help grow as the child grows and you don't always have to keep on renovating their room every six months to a year I think every child's bedroom needs to be a space where they feel they belong there, a, a space where they feel safe and comfortable. So that was it guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and it gave you some ideas and inspiration for your child's bedroom. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to do more such room tours or home tour. And if you enjoyed this video and made it all the way here, then please do give this video a thumbs up. It'll help my channel grow and help me make more such content for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very, very soon. Bye.